What's the project today? Today's project is the Dometic fridge. Bolting it down and hooking it up. You can also go by like this line over here. Because now the only thing is if there's a water issue, right. but the fridge is going to now be attached to the slider. Oh shit, that's right. I mean, these are, these are just decisions we have to make. We can get. I know. I just think that it would be the wrong decision to close that in. So if something goes wrong with this, yeah, I got to come in here and unscrew. This going over there is state. We're not so pour water in that way. Yep. It's not a daily thing. It's an emergency thing. What's up? We're back. Day two, fridge install. Made a final decision. We're gonna go right next to our water. We're not gonna bolt the fridge in. We'll be able to just pull it out, take it off if we need to, and we can get access by just peeling this down and then taking it out. 951. So, almost 10. Just getting started. Nice. Now, Sissy, do you want to go back inside? Good time to go first. Sure. Come on. Thanks, guys. self-drilling screws just because I, I think that that's what we used before on the fridge and I think they'll be the most secure. Right! It went in. It went in well on that first one. I'll drill the rest of these in, throw the fridge on top, let you know guys how it looks. I think I figured this out. I'm not savvy with this stuff, and I'm surprised I didn't see a video. But so we got this, you know, wiring kit. Should make things easy. And it basically came with this and this. But for some people, this might be super easy. For me, it's a little intimidating. I haven't really made connections and done that stuff. So anyway, you take this apart. If you're getting this, and you're new like me, and then it'll look like this. And what took me a while to find and figure out is the connection terminal for this is this green piece that's already in there. So I strip these wires a little bit and then those are going to go in there and I'll use these screws right in there clamp down on the wire. So this creates the, the DC connection for me which when you get the domatic fridge comes with a you know, cigarette lighter you can plug in there. So I'll continue to work through it. I need to do some crimping and stripping of the wire, figure out where I'm gonna mount this. But I think I have all the tools now. So what I was working on over there is I stripped it and then I just jammed it in there. See, I'm giving a little pressure on that. So that should create my connection and then I'll plug in the DC cable there. So if you can see this, the red one doesn't really fit. This one looks like it's kind of crimped and bent in there, so I'm sure that's not ideal. Okay, that should be connected. Okay, so if I, if I plug the mount here, potentially cut that wire way down, but before I do any cutting of wires, I will be testing the whole thing. So, I hooked up this piece, which I was showing you earlier, and I had to jam in that piece. And then that comes back around, just a simple plug in the back. And then I hooked it up through our electrical, you can see where that wire is kind of sticking out there, 
So I'm gonna mount all that stuff up. She's on, she's on DC power. I'm so excited. So what was jamming me up is I had to jam that thing in to secure the connection. Um, but now I just have to take this mounting plate into the back and mount it up, slide her in or out, and uh, then we got some food. All right, final install, CFX3 75DZ fridge. Finally got the wiring done. You can see I mounted that up there, which I'll update you if we move that. But overall, hopefully my wiring video instructions helped as I'm being an amateur when it comes to electrical. And then we'll show the inside. So we got power to it, slides out. And then we'll show you, it opens up. Other side. Inside, here for your fridge. Basket here for the freezer. You can adjust the temps on both sides.